built-in microphone. Test, test, here we go. All right, that should be better. I'm so glad I asked if we had sound. All right, let me uh, jump around here on the screen for a second and give you this version of me. So, hi, guys. I wanted to say thanks for putting up with me being late. I saw a great line on a TV show this week where she said, I'd like to apologize for being late, but I showed up exactly when I wanted to. And I thought that was a great line. I'm going to start using that forever. The point of this live stream was that I had no topic. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to talk about? What have I been immersed with nonstop for days on end? Well, that would be my website and this new app that's rolling out. So just to kind of bring you up to speed, the app was due to drop on the 1st of November. And it turns out you can't just flip a switch and magically it's there. The, there has to be an approval with Apple. It takes some time. If there's any kind of revision or any kind of uh, correction that they want or to make sure everything fits on every device, you know, so that the logo appears in the right spot on an iPad versus an iPhone, it uh, has to be resubmitted and reapproved each time you do it until it's finally live. And we're very, very close. I am told that the app will come out in two days. And I actually have <clears throat> a little video of it that I think I could show you if I set this up correctly. But I need to jump into my software. And I need to create a new window. And we will grab... Hmm, trying to find something that's going to be big. How about this one? And then we will pick this. It's a preview screenshot, it says. Start capturing press OK. But I'm not seeing it. Weird. Maybe because it's shrunk. Let's see. Anything now? Oh, that's way too picky. Hmm. All right. Well, how would you like to see more of my screen all at once? That might be fun. It might be a terrible decision. <laughs> Let me move some things around here really quick. I'm going to, oh, let's see, hmm. All right, I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this. Um, do you see like a crazy desktop? Let's see if I can hide this for a second here. And this is what I want you to see, and I'm going to stop this thing right here. See, there's so much on my screen. You guys act like it's all easy. I'm going to hide this too. I'm going to hide this too just for a moment so it's less... Oh, well, that doesn't really help, does it? Anyway, this is the new app, and I got them to give me a little clip of what it looks like. I'm just going to hit play, and hopefully it plays through your screen so you can kind of see some of the things it will do. Now, this app is for the iPhone right now, but there is an Android version that is coming next. So I wanted to tell you that because that's the first thing people say is, where is my Android version? It's coming. But to be honest... We know that the market is bigger for iPhones than it is for Android, mathematically, and we can tell that from Google Analytics. Uh, I can tell that with my own website. I can see who's got Android and who's got iPhones, and Apple is winning this, win this war. So, basically, Reef Trace is the new app that I am partners with. Now, it is not my app. Everyone keeps saying, is this your new app? You're rolling out a new app. I partnered with them, which means eventually I will make some money on it. <laughs> But uh, initially, I mean, they've put in all their investment. They put in all their programming. They actually have a staff of people that work on it daily. It's not just like rolling out a program, which is kind of how I figured. You build an app, you release it, you get rich. That's not the case. Instead, what it is, is you have a, um, a bunch of people that are constantly working on it and making updates and rolling things out and possibly adding better features or making something more clear that wasn't quite right. And then there's a whole section in this app called Plaza, which is a marketplace, and they are going to be grabbing ads from um, businesses that are paying to be in this app that are posting on social media. So it will show up inside this app, which I think is really cool because it targets the audience, you know, the people that really care about aquariums. So what you're seeing here is part of the test kit procedure that will allow you to put in your latest... Uh, your latest parameters, and then you'll be able to share them online. And you'll be able to track it, do your graphs and so forth, which is always fun. There's uh, more to it. I mean, there's Critter ID in there, which you're going to see in a moment. <clears throat> this is Plaza. Hasn't been populated yet, but it's coming. And there's been a lot of interest in joining the Plaza of Reef Trace, so that's kind of exciting. 
I'm really proud of local fish stores. I felt that was really important as part of this map. And they, the people at this company called over 2,300 real fish stores to make sure they were in business and open before they added them to the map. And I'm told that you'll be able to flag a store if it's no longer there or if there's a, a, an error that needs to be corrected. Also, if you own the fish store and you're on the map, you're able to control the information on that as far as I know as well. So that's exciting. Here's some of Critter ID, which looks beautiful on your screen. What else is there? Um, those are basically the things that are in this new app. Uh, there are going to be videos in here that will show you how to perform each test kit. And those videos were made by me. So I think you're about to see that. Here you go. Here's one of my new videos that I just made showing exactly how to perform this test kit. And I'm hoping that you guys will find that interesting. And I kept the kit video short because, you know, it might take you four or five minutes to actually perform a test, but I didn't want you to have to live through a video of five minutes long when we could just abbreviate it and get to the point. So that is the preview of the brand new app that's coming out. And I'm told it comes out on Monday. Um, people always say, what's it cost? It's $8.99 and it's a one-time price. You're not going to have to pay for anything later on. It's for life. Uh, if you log in with your uh, iTunes account, you can download to all your different devices. It's not like you can only have it on one. So that's kind of nice. And uh, I'm told you know that it works with the iPad and with the iPhones. So that was your preview. And I hope that you found this semi-interesting because there's been a lot of effort to get this right. And uh, if there's anything that's wrong in there, I will be uh, proofing it <laughs> and submitting those corrections so that, you know, if there's a typo or something, I always find typos. So that is the latest. I think, yep, that's the end of it. All right, so let me close that down. Get you back to here. <clears throat> Get you on me. And let me pull you guys back up on my screen so I can see what you're saying, because I know you're talking. All right. <laughs> Mike Shroom says he's been checking every couple of hours in the App Store since the first. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but the good news is when it's finally released, it's going to be rocking and rolling. It's a native app, which means that it is designed to work with the phone. It's not something that uh, is kind of iffy, and I wanted to make that... I mean, I barely understand this stuff. You know, I run a website. I build things out of acrylic. I do YouTube. The uh, plaza information will become more obvious as it's filled in. And as far as I know, they're filling it in for the release. So you have something to see and understand how it works. I don't quite grasp it, but basically the way I understood it is, for example, if a company sponsored it, um, that section, uh, they would then literally have their own products right there first and foremost. But we're also opening, you know, I say we, I keep saying we because I'm part of this app, but it, it's theirs. Um, Stores can advertise within the app as well. So stores in your nation, across the nation, can promote what they're selling. And this is really good for coral sellers selling all over the place because they're shipping, so they don't really care. So that is coming very, very soon. Uh, reviews about the stores, I don't know. Um, that is something that we'll have to see if that comes up. I'm not 100% positive. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to make promises. <laughs> I really, I honestly do not know. But it would be kind of cool if there were stars on the bottom. But uh, I want to also point out that with social media, uh, reviews can be vicious. I just read in the news about some, I can't remember what kind of restaurant it was. I can't remember what state it was in. But the owners of the restaurant stated their strong political opinions on their Facebook page. And everyone went and gave them one-star reviews and attacked them and called the restaurant and made death threats. And the, sh the restaurant literally closed indefinitely because they were at risk. Because people got upset about an opinion posted on Facebook. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll t let me tell you this. Earlier this week, I had to treat with phosphate in my reef. Like I do every, I don't know, every eight weeks. I, what is that? Uh, five, six times a year? Six. And my tank was measuring 0.75 because I was doing these water test videos. And I was like, eh, let me treat phosphate rex. And I said, okay, you know, I'm going I'm to do it a little differently this time. I definitely put in the filter sock because I wanted to catch all the flocculent. And so I put in a 10 micron, 7 inch sock, ran all my drains into the sock. Uh, and then I dripped into the tank. Normally I drip into the sump right by the skimmer. But this time I did it in the tank. I don't know. I said, let me try something different. And then an hour later I checked and the sock was ready to overflow because that sock is amazing. It traps things so fast. 10 microns is very, very fine. 
And, you know, I went to bed. The next morning I woke up and the sock was completely overflowing. And I measured phosphates on the tank and they were nearly undetectable. So it knocked it from 0.75 all the way down to basically zero. You know, let's just say 0 0.03. I mean, there was a hint in the test kit of blue, but it was almost invisible. So I took the time to send a message to Blue Life. <clears throat> I sell Blue Life, okay? I don't have to do this. I chose to take a few minutes out of my day to send this message to Blue Life, and then I thought, you know what? This should be done publicly. We should be encouraging each other to also congratulate someone or, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We want to say the good and the bad. So I understand. You get an order from a company and it didn't work out as, you're, as you expected and you post that you're upset. I get that one. But I don't see enough of people posting, I got my order and I'm super happy. And I wish we did more of that. So anyway, I took my, my message and I tried to copy it so I could just make a status. And for some reason, I could not copy the message out of Messenger. It just would not copy. So I took a screenshot of my, my paragraph and I posted it publicly. And I basically told them, you know, I treated my tank. I knocked my phosphates down. I love this product. Thank you so much. And yes, I bought the product. Yes, I sell the product. But I took the time out of my day to thank them for their efforts, you know, for making a product that I can use that makes my reef easier to maintain. And so your question about will there be re reviews about stores? Well, I'd love to see both kinds of reviews. If you're honest and you got treated really badly or the owner yelled at you <laughs> and you deserved, you know, you didn't deserve it, then, you know, so be it. But how about you went in and the store was clean and the livestock was healthy and they ordered in your favorite fish food because you couldn't get the kind you wanted normally, but they went the extra mile and got it. You know, put the review about that as well. So, and that has nothing really necessarily to do with this app because I don't know if there's going to be reviews in there. But I just feel like we should try harder to be nicer. I am, um, it has come to my attention and you've, all of you have probably noticed this as well. There's a lot of people that are upset right now. They just seem to be angry. And they're angry at politics, they're angry at the police, they're angry at, you know, ISIS, they're angry at everything. I get it. But there's so much to be happy about, too. And it just seems like even my TV shows I'm watching right now, no one is likable. I can't embrace the TV shows like I used to. I used to really enjoy them. And, you know, there was some fantasy and there was some drama and it was exciting. And, and how will Jack Bauer, you know, beat the terrorists? You know, that was great. But now TV shows feel like the news, and the information, the, the characters, they're just unlikable. It's just like there's this constant aggression just running in the background at all times, keeping us on edge. And that is not how I like to live my life. I like to be happy. I like to talk about good, happy things. I share things on my Facebook page. Let me put that on here real quick. If you are not following me on Facebook, then let me change this number real quick so you don't get this thing for six minutes. <laughs> it's too long. There we go. <clears throat> So if you, if you aren't following me on Facebook, please do. Because on Facebook, I try to share fun things from the ocean, newsy things I've come across, and of course, things that pertain to my own business uh, because, you know, well, I'm in business. But for the rest of the time, you know, I'd like to see more people talking about good things that are happening. You know, find something positive to talk about. Yes, I know, I'm preaching, sorry. It's just how I feel. And, you know, everyone's got their opinions. Well, hey, I did an opinion about being happy. Let's see. <clears throat> Nancy says there's lots of emo emotional blackmail. And I agree. It, it's it's kind of sad. Well, it's very sad. Um, I just read a story. I will put a link in the uh, description of this video when it uploads after I'm done with the stream. About a young lady who appears to be American who's literally from Russia as part of a, uh, a troll... Uh, what do they call it? A troll group? You know, just imagine a room full of computers. And their job all day long is to cause chaos and make Americans uh, angry. Sounds like something from a TV show. But apparently it's a real thing. So I have this whole article. I read it, and you know what? I don't disbelieve it. I actually think it's very believable. And again, are we going to get sucked into negativity, or are we going to focus on the positive? That's my... Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Let me talk about the new website. I have been mentioning this website for over a year. And I have spent a lot of time... Well, <clears throat> the same company made the app, did the design of my website. They built the uh, architecture that makes it look the way it does. And I, so I've got them in the background here. I'm about to show them to you. The, uh, the website itself has over 950 pages on it. 
There is 15 years of documentation on milosreef.com. And before I was doing YouTube, I was documenting to my website on a regular basis. I was selling for my website because that's what I do to make a living, but I blogged about everything. I did articles, I did reviews, and I did all that, and I felt like that was enough. And I had people telling me, you know, a couple of different YouTubers said, Mark, you need to do video. And I said, no, they got the website, they can read it. And they said, no, you, you really need to do video, it's really important. This generation likes to watch. And I said, yeah. So, be honest, it sounded like work, and it turns out it actually is work. <laughs> None of this is easy. Uh, I, the reason I was late today is because I was trying to make everything work for this stream. And it was not cooperating properly. Uh, the webcam, I want to show you guys. I, I stuck this in here too, just for a small distraction. So here is my reef right now under 10K lighting. And you should be getting that in a second. And it's a... Uh, the, the webcam kind of gets blinded by the bright light, and I couldn't really adjust it. I was, I was messing with it a little bit, trying to see if I could correct it a little bit. But anyway, you guys like to see live tanks, and I tried the anemone tank, and it looked terrible. It just, no matter what spectrum I picked, the camera just, it was, the camera was zooming in and out because the tentacles were moving, and so it kept changing the focus, so that was impossible. Uh, I will literally just do a video of that tank instead of trying to stream it. That way it's nice and clean, because I'm sure what you're looking at now is kind of choppy, because it's a webcam. But, and, you know, I'm sharing the channel with myself at the same time with another webcam. But, uh, so I was trying to make things work, and it made me run late, and that's why I was late today, and I apologize for that. So let me show you. Are you guys ready to see the new version of the website? I'm going to give you a teaser. And I believe the website will roll out Sunday night in the middle of the night, so, which means it might take up to 48 hours for everyone to see it. All right, I'm going to just assume you're all saying yes, even though you haven't posted anything yet. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. One person wanted to see the website, so I'm going to show it to you. Let me switch this to my browser. Okay. And so here is the new version of my website. I'm very excited about it. The logo right here is the home button, of course. This is all your navigation to get in different parts of the site. This website is completely mobile friendly, which I'm super excited about. And so here's the front page. I'll just scroll down a little bit so you can see some of the products I sell from my shop. Uh, these are buttons to take you to Critter ID, photo gallery, uh, public speaking. There's some of the products I sell right here. It's all animated, and when you roll over it, they change color a little bit. Let's see if they change color. See, there's a hint. You can kind of see blue there appearing in these. Um, of course, Milo's Reef. Of course, I would. that's a brand. It's my brand. So these are some of the things I sell. And then down here are some little statistics. And then finally is the footer with, you know, upcoming stuff and how to reach me and so forth. Okay, so that's the front page. I, to not make you have to wait for things to load, I preloaded these pages. So here is the article section of the website, and there are many articles here to go through. The search box right here would help you find where you need to go to. You can jump to specific categories and see all the different sumps I have, uh, articles about equipment, articles about chemistry, photography, and each one of these things will then jump to a specific article. And look at all these numbers right here. There's a whole bunch right there. Then this one is the blog, which I have been blogging about my website now on the, on the website for over a year. And so the blog section is really, really pretty. Uh, lots of huge pictures. Some of these pictures will uh, scroll like a slideshow. There, let's see how long it takes to load. It takes a little longer because I'm sharing my camera. <laughs> it's actually pretty quick. And uh, you can see all the different things that I've been sharing for some time. So the exciting thing is I've been putting all these posts on here, but no one could see them until now. And so you actually have something to look back on. And as I'm sharing on Facebook, you'll see me bumping people toward the website. This is the photo gallery area. And there's some beautiful pictures in here. Like, look at this one here, for example. This is Okay, now here's something cool. When you go over a picture, it zooms in a little bit. And if you click on the uh, magnifying glass, then you get a full screen picture of the actual item. Oh, I would pick something that's smaller. <laughs> There's actually pictures that are full screen. It's amazing. It looks like National Geographic. And then if you click on the link, it takes you to the actual subject. And then there will be a little paragraph beneath it describing it. And then these pictures should, yeah, switch out automatically, depending on how many images are in that one little slideshow. 
So that's kind of neato. And then critter ID has been completely filled in, and they're, they're all by category, so this is the SPS section. And at the base of the section, it'll show any kind of predators that are known to work on SPS. So that is something that I'm very proud of. And that was everything on the tour. Let me jump back to you guys. And we'll switch this back to me, so you're not staring at my screen, at me looking at you guys. Okay. So that is a new version of the website. I'm super excited about it. I've been working on it for a long time. Um, I actually had to get Emasis to populate the last of it because I still had almost 300 pages to add. So they added a bunch. And all my blogs are going to be on the site for the last 15 years, which sounds crazy, but a lot of the things I talked about back then still pertain now. And so if you do a search about a certain ballast or you do a search about um, a certain chemical, if I've ever talked about it, it's going to show up on my website and you're going to be able to read about it. And I love that it's mobile friendly because the shop area itself is going to... Uh, we didn't really even touch on that at all. Let me jump to a screen here for you really quick. I think it's this one. Yeah. So here's the shop area. And you can actually put reviews on here if you like the product, which will be kind of cool. I've always been kind of careful what I do with my website because I want it to always be positive and not be negative, like we just talked about reviews. <laughs> but you can go to an actual item, and there we go. There will be some information about the item. There will be general information if you need to know it. Uh, there's a spot to do a review if you wanted to add one. And then some related products beneath it. And that's kind of it for there. But, and you know, like the acrylics area shows some of the products that I build for my customers. And a lot of the acrylic things I show are not cookie cutter items, but they're custom made for the customers to fit their specific uh, needs. And so when you are on the website and you say, oh, I need an overflow box, but that's not the right size, all you have to do is contact me and tell me what size you need. I'm just giving you general examples. But now you can go ahead and you can see big pictures of the products and how they look. And there's these are examples of older products because they also still exist out there. And there is a possibility I can make it like this again. Okay, so that kind of shows you a little bit of the shop. So there's lots and lots of stuff over here. If you look at the accessories for RO parts, I carry every kind of accessory for the RO systems I sell. If you're needing anything, odds are I have the fitting in stock because I order it by the pallet. Alrighty, and then uh, just to show you really quick since we're doing this, you can see how it will then fit a mobile phone. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, come back to me. And let me find you guys really quick. Reopen this. The website is free, of course. I see my stream health has dropped. I hope we're still coming through okay. Um, the website is milosreef.com. And when you go to it right now, it's going to look like the current version. It's been for the last three years. But the new version is going to come out in about two days. Um, I'm going to work on some more today and a little bit more tomorrow. But I'm very excited for this new version because it'll fit tablets. It'll fit uh, Android. It'll fit iPhone because it's, it's mobile friendly. It's device friendly. It'll fit on computers. I discovered looking at Google Analytics that my website is uh, receiving 55% mobile, 45% computers. So the planet has really advanced to doing everything on their phones. And so, yes, uh, this is for you guys. And it's what it's always been. It's always been there for you. Robert asked if I ship to Canada. I do. And usually what I do is I say, you know, I find out what you want to order, and then I turn around. And I uh, will look up what it would cost to ship. I usually try to ship with a, a United States Postal Service, you know, international priority mail, because that's cheaper than FedEx and UPS. And then sometimes if it's a larger item, the customer may ask me to ship it to the border of America and Canada, and they drive across and grab it and drive it back. So that is another option, depending on what it is you're looking for. Okay. Uh, can I answer any questions about the app or about the website? Feel free to ask, because that was kind of today's topic. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to slide this on your screen really quick. Bing. 
a sip of coffee. Now the stream bar is back to green, so I'm happy about that. Right now, Troy, the Elos test kit is the only one I filmed myself. And I have more in the works. And it takes time to build those videos, of course. But uh, there's five right now for Elos. Uh, Red Sea is on the list. I've talked to Salifert. Um, uh, who else? Uh, we've reached out to Hannah. Makes sense. And uh, who else? There was another test. Oh, Nios is another one that I'm looking at. But we would love it if you would also say, well, this is the kit I'd like to have considered. And there's going to be some contests this month. Uh, a couple of things that happened uh, in the last couple of days. Remember, the app was supposed to come out on the first, Reef Trace. It, um, they did a contest for a free iPhone 10, and three phones were awarded on the first. And I was, and they, you know, I mean, they went out fast. And the weird thing is, I knew two of the three people. And you know what? I probably know the third person, but I didn't recognize the username because it was a uh, a name on Instagram. But maybe I know them. Uh, but the uh, I was told there will be more. So more phones, maybe? I don't know. That's exciting. But there's going to be other prizes that are going to be uh, awarded from the app. And I'm told it's a monthly thing where there's prizes included uh, for a chance to win. So, and then I think what you'll get is a notification that pushes to your lock screen that tells you who the winner is. Kind of neat, right? Uh, so, I was suggesting to make a contest where you say, what test kit do you want us to do a video about? And that way, you know, you have a reason to enter the contest. You have a, a voice. You can say, I would like this, and we can compile the information and, and see which test kits are the next ones to add to the app. I'm reading a really long paragraph. I think you just type that just to make me read it. <laughs> um, let's see. Donald Martin asks, can you explain in more detail about how Reef Trace will be able to read the sample of the waterproof camera? Okay, I, I guess I need to clarify that. It's not doing the reading for you, but it lets you put the vial on a white space for perfect lighting from below. So when you look at it and compare to the color chart, you'll know that you're under correct lighting. Because a lot of times we do uh, our tests near our aquarium. We're in our kitchen with yellow light. You go out under sunlight, which is daylight. And these different spectrums make it easier or harder to see. So the idea was we all have phones that have a white background and a brightness intensity. And you can set the vial right on top and get perfect backlighting for every single test, the exact same lighting, no matter where you are. And that way, when you set it down, you can look at it. And originally, I thought, because I haven't got the app yet either, um, I thought you'd be able to slide the uh, slider back and forth. And I don't know, I might push for that, because I think it's an awesome feature. But I don't know if it's needed yet. And I'll know once I try the app out myself, personally. The app is supposed to release on Monday. It was going to be on the 1st, but it took a couple more days to get approved. So it's going to be a couple more days. And uh, there should be another video coming out. There was one video that we've already shared. The Keynote Part 1 was released a couple of days ago on the 1st. And uh, <clears throat> Keynote Part 2 is going to come out where it actually shows the app. But you guys kind of saw a preview already. But it might have been a little soft because it came through a live stream and not be a nice crisp video like you'd see on YouTube normally. So I would watch that as well. Plus, they'll be explaining their own app. So... <laughs> that would be the best person to hear it from. Let's see. Do I like Elos over the others, Mike asks me. You know, I do. I um, started using Elos probably two years ago, maybe a little bit longer. I won them in a, in a raffle. I, or it was an online, it was a Facebook contest, and I won three test kits. And I was using them, I was like, wow, these are really easy to use, I like them. So I went ahead and started using them, and I really liked them. They were easy to read. And so I started selling them for my shop as well because I like to sell the things I use myself. <laughs> Reef Trace Live is on. All right, answer all the questions. I can stop talking. He says it's not an iPhone X. I think it's an iPhone X10. What are you going to call it? How am I supposed to show the app for my cell phone? Are you crazy? I don't even have the app on my phone. 
Well, anyway. Sorry, I did my own thing. We'll uh, get that sorted out for the next time. Any more questions? All right, I will do that. Brandon asked me to show the demo again. So let me find the, ooh, I might have closed that thing. Hang on just a second. Let me show you the reef tank while we're waiting. Switch to this. I believe you are seeing the app now. Oh, no, you're not. Dang it. Now you can see it. Let's see if I can get this off the screen since it's distracting. The instructions for each test kit are actually in the phone or in your app, so that way you can see them and read them yourself. There will be a video in there showing you how to do the test specifically and how to look through the vial. Um, of course, I showed it on a white background because I didn't have it an, an app to show it upon. There's timers built into the app as well, so you can actually know when something is completely ready to view. And uh, I, I guess I should point out the obvious right there. Disclaimer, that if you are doing a test kit and your vial is wet and you put it on your phone, you should dry off the vial first before you put it down. I mean, I always do that. I always dry off my vial before I put it on the color chart, which is a piece of cardboard, because I don't want to ruin the test kit color card or the color key. So I always dry it off. But you obviously want to be careful to dry off your vial before you put it on top of your cell phone, whether it's waterproof or it's an older phone that's not waterproof, because, I mean, come on, let's be realistic here. Um, but, you know, if, if you're not cautious or if you do something dumb, wipe off your phone. That's my uh, non-legal expertise that I just shared. I'm not able to read your comments right now because I've got this video playing on full screen. But feel free to post questions so when I come back to that screen I can check and see what you wrote. I love the LFS locator. I think that's so awesome. And I love that all the stores are verified. So they actually do exist as of the time of the release of this app. It's not just a big master list with a bunch of dead stores. Here's Critter ID from my website. And you'll be able to jump to a specific category. So here we're looking at fish. And then you can jump to the specific fish to read more about that fish. My Critter ID has always been designed as a way to give you a general information. It's not the full depth wiki where you know every single thing about it. It's just to kind of help you recognize something and look it up. Someone had asked before if there'll be more than just ELO's test kits on here. Yes, there will be. This is just what we're starting with this week. And here's one of the new videos I just filmed showing how to do the phosphate test kit. My favorite kit in the world. Actually, my favorite kit is alkalinity, but I, um, I have to test phosphate a lot because I'm a heavy feeder. There's your color chart, and you would put the vial in the big open white area, and now we can compare it to the chart. See, I still would like to see the color chart grow bigger, so it's like the full top of the screen, and then slide back and forth so I can really compare side by side. But I won't know until I try the app out myself. So if Reef Trace is listening right now, that's what I have to say. I thought that was a great idea, and I was really excited to hear that was in there, and then all of a sudden I was told now it's not there, so... That's me complaining on a live stream in front of the entire planet. Sorry, Reef Trace. 
<laughs> then you can show different uh, parameters all at the same time on the same chart. And you can have notes that pop up to remind you about you know, certain notes that you made to yourself. All right, that's the end of that clip. Let me pull this back up. And we'll jump back to me. And I need to pull this up so I can see what you guys are saying. Here I am. Okay. Uh, the anemone tank doesn't look good on, on live stream. Trust me. Donald Martin says, will there be any integrate integration with controllers to populate readings from ReefTrace? I have no idea. Oh, ReefTrace already answered. <laughs> See, I don't have to be on here. I can just walk away and let you guys do your thing. There is a purple tang on the uh, Critter ID fish list, yes. You guys are just busy talking. Let's see. The next fish I'm going to get, you know, I don't really have a... Well, actually I do. Uh, that's a good question. I would kind of like to get a whole bunch of Antheus from my reef tank. Like 30. I think that would look amazing. But I also believe that the uh, 30 fish peeing in my water would be an issue to, be, to contend with. So I'm kind of, you know, debating what to do with that decision. I really love the idea. I'm going to Fiji next month, and I'll be seeing hundreds or thousands of Antheus all over a reef area. And obviously I can't recreate that because billions of gallons of water versus 400, you know, it's dilution's a solution to pollution, right? But I would like to get some more Antheus. I love them. I love their look. Linda's Reef says, Elos has two grades of kits. There's the reef version and there's a more accurate one. Uh, I actually select, and just you know, I want to tell you guys face to face, when Elos said, do you want the ultra low phosphate level measuring test kit? I said, no, why would I want that? <laughs> and the guy looked at me and says, well, people like to measure that low. I said, my tank always has high phosphates. I will never have very low phosphates, never ever. So give me a regular test kit that shows me zero to whatever. But to keep it crazy, super, unbelievably low to where you can't even measure it with a regular kit, that's never gonna happen in my tank. Same with nitrate, it'll never be ultra low. It's always gonna be something. Right now my nitrates are high. I am still waiting for my new bricks to come in from uh, Brightwell. Uh, they have these bricks you put in the sump. They're supposed to help absorb nitrate and I want to try them out and see if they'll work. And since my tank's full of nitrate, it's the perfect test to see if they really work. So I will find out about that. Uh, the sunburst anthus are gorgeous. Some, uh, one person recommended the fathead sunburst and it is really pretty when it's a baby. When they get big, they're not as pretty. But um, I do love buying tiny fish, and who knows, maybe I'll just go that direction. And yes, I have not been putting my test results on Instagram. Thank you for reminding me. I will do that today. I've been meaning to do it, and at the same time, I've been so buried with the website and with the app work that I haven't had time to actually post my numbers. But I will post them today because I want to know what, what's going on with it. I also want to know what's going on with my, uh, my frag system, so I've got to test two tanks today. Someone recommended I get a Kamohara, I'm sure you meant Blenny. I don't know that one, but I thought the Lawnmower Blenny had a lot of personality. And then there's a Starry Blenny, which is really pretty too. <laughs> Reef Trace is giving me a hard time. He's saying that once I buy Reef Trace, I'll be able to do things. I have to pay for it? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. I'm really excited to share my test results from the app and go straight to social media. So I, at that point, I'll be able to dump it straight to Facebook and dump it straight to Instagram right from the app. And I won't have to actually take my numbers, type them on my screen, take a screenshot, stick it in Instagram, add a filter, and tag it. I won't have to do all that because ReefTrace will do it for me, which is awesome. So yeah, so yeah, Linda, that's exactly why I am not trying to get the ultra low test kits. But that doesn't mean we'll never add them. There's, you know... Jose might say, I have to have you add this test kit. <laughs> I'll just do it. But odds are I'll have to test something like brand new salt water to give you an ultra low reading because if we do anything in my tank, it's just going to peg it. You know, it's going to go all the way into the red because my water is not pure. I have a living reef and it's, uh, it's very normal. 
you can kind of see it behind me there. Let's see if I can tilt this, but it's just gonna look like a white mess, I'm sure. Let's see what happens. I gotta see the, I gotta wait for the 20 second delay. Boy, that is one long 20 second period. It seems longer than 20 seconds. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see what you can see. Jeez. All right, let me cheat. Yeah, there's really not much you can see there. And the anemone cube is right there. to what you were saying. No, Dave, I haven't got the answers yet. I've been dragging my feet on that decision because I wanted to make sure that my tank water parameters were okay. I was a little concerned that I would turn around and I would make it even worse for the fish because my nitrates right now are so high on the tank. I mean, the, the test goes to 25 and I blow 25 away. My tank's somewhere around 80 right now, I think. <laughs> 60 to 80 based on API. So I wanna find out what happens with that. I haven't tried Google Hangouts yet, uh, but that is a, uh, an interesting suggestion. I don't rule it out. I just, the thing is I'm doing everything from a very small laptop screen. You know, it's a 13 inch screen. If I had a huge monitor sitting here, but I keep moving around the room now. Now I've got the new webcam. And since you guys, you know, some of you might be new to the video today. See, this is where the other webcam is pointing right now. And let me turn this off. And that way you guys, oops, sorry. That way you can um, see things from different angles and I can share different things with you. All right, I feel like I'm just burning time, and I feel like when somebody watches this later, they're going to be bored to tears. I've run out of topic for today because I've, my brain has been all about the app and all about the, uh, the website. And I do really hope that you guys are going to love the website because <laughs> that's my bread and butter. That is what everything's about. It, I, I care so much about how my website is perceived, how the information comes across, how it displays on your screen. I've been fixing pictures. I have been... Um, editing paragraphs. I have a lot of information buried on the website. For example, the uh, there's a section of the new website called 400 gallon and it has a whole bunch. I think there's 13 articles about the 400 gallon that you can reveal or, or review. So you can read about the livestock, you can read about the plumbing, you can read about the lighting, you can read about uh, the concrete work I did underneath. All those are separated into separate groups. There's also a YouTube section of the website to help you find certain videos, which, I mean, you could find them here on YouTube anyway, but I just put them on the website as well, so if you're there, you can jump to those. There is going to be on-location articles, which means when I travel to different shows, they will be appearing on the site, and I'm excited about that because that is another aspect of what's going on right now with the... Uh... I keep traveling. And if I could share updates and give you updates about where I've been and what I saw and what I did, I think that's kind of cool. And I, I know I can, like, for example, when I went to Florida, I took, I don't know, a bunch of little video clips and I took a bunch of, uh, of uh, pictures and I could just bundle those into a video and stick it on YouTube and say, trip to Florida. And, you know, maybe you'd find it interesting, maybe you wouldn't. I really don't know if you guys would or wouldn't. But I also would like to basically do a write-up or a blog entry about that trip so that way it's there for documentation and for history purposes because it's kind of fun to kind of review things from the past. Yes. Thank you, Reef Trace Live. I am excited for the new website coming out. JCS. What is JCS?
Reef Real Estate asks about uh, a Lobo that he has that was looking great, and then 12 hours later you can see the skeleton sticking out of the, uh, the fleshy part of the material of the coral. And th these corals do that. They retract and they fluff up. It depends on what's going on, what time of day it is. Uh, it depends on lighting, it depends on flow. So if you have a, a situation where the coral doesn't look great right now, check on it in a few hours before you just automatically respond to doing something. Sometimes we just have to leave them alone and let them be. Exclusive Reef asked, uh, check your ALK, did you have a spike? That was just a demo within the app of showing different higher numbers and showing the graphs going up and down. You could also check to see if that coral is being irritated. If a fish is nipping at it, if you have vermited snails, which are the little worms that have a web that stick out, if they're irritating that coral and making the coral retract. You could also check your alkalinity to see if you have dosed something. Alkalinity is a, a prime example, but it could be vitamin C. Um, if you overdosed something and pH shot up really high in your tank, it can cause the lobo to retract as well. Alrighty guys, thank you very much for watching. I feel like we have covered our 45 minutes and uh, next week's stream should be on time and I will post a topic on Instagram of what it will be so you know what to look forward to. In the meantime, that's it. Go do your water tests. Make sure that you post your results on Instagram today because you don't have the app yet. Here is the link to find me on Instagram. You are going to want to put on there Hashtag water testing, hashtag post your results, hash, uh, and then at Mila's Reef so I can see it. If your uh, Instagram is set to private, I can't see it. You have to make sure that it's a public item or something so I can see it. And I want to tell you uh, really quick, uh, I, t I said I was going to wrap up and I still found some. I get so many smiles as I go down Instagram and see your crazy names you guys have picked up. The usernames you've chosen, I mean, mine's Mila's Reef because it's my company. But you have some of the most hilarious names on Instagram. And that alone makes my day because it'll show this person liked your picture, this person liked your picture, this person. And I'm looking at all the usernames and you guys crack me up. You have such originality. I love it. So, you know, keep being you guys. You know, keep being cool. All right, that's it. Enjoy your weekend. I want to see your water test results. I will post mine, I promise. And I hope you have a great day.